enriching spree before the end of 2019. Uh, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Swamiji revealed something massive in the latest satsang and I had some cognitive shifts and some clicks which happened to me while listening to the satsang. So then again inviting you to listen to the satsangs in the night, um, 7 to, uh, 8 a.m. IST, Indian Standard Time on Nityanda TV, Facebook, Nityanda TV, YouTube, um, the Nityanda channel or Nityanda.tv or Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. We're everywhere because we are all pervasive. Paramashiva. Welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityanda Paramashiva. I had this click. See, in today's world, in the modern spirituality, we have somehow this understanding that, you know, in order to be spiritual, you have to be in the present moment. And we think we understand what the present moment is, but the click I got is like, we do not understand it. And I'm going to share something that Swamiji shared and show how this is the scale from which you can tell if you know what the real moment of the now, which we refer to by saying the present moment, if we are in that space or not. The Zen Buddhists and other uh, various traditions have brought this idea of being in the present, but uh, you know, some of them had the full experience, some of them did not, they had a glimpse, so they shared to whatever extent the cognition, the cognitive shift they had. But Swamiji, having a pure and complete experience, can uh, kind of bring the science of it and discard the different forms of ignorance and um, darkness regarding this understanding. Swamiji shared, if you feel your past is frozen, if you feel your future is a pure possibility, you are deluded. You are deluded. So this is how it clicked with me. I'm going to share how it clicked with me. Swamiji was saying, in the space of Kala, which is beyond time, universes are created, Universes are sustained for billions of years. Universes are dissolved, destroyed. All these things happen simultaneously now. Multidimensional universe, multidimensional logics. The, pa the past and the future is not real. It's a projection. You feeling that the past is frozen, that you cannot change it, therefore feeling powerless towards what happened in the past and you seeing the future as an open possibility where you can do what you want and everything is possible therefore feeling powerful about the future is a delusion because the very projection of the past and the present comes from the same space so there's no way that you can be powerless in front of one and powerful in front of the other one that is why Completing with the past and learning the science and cognizing and having a cognitive shift that past can be changed and past is not frozen as you think it is, is important if you want to have a possibility of the future. If your past is frozen, your future is frozen. If your past is open, your future is open because it is the projection of the same space. And ultimately, past, present and future are all happening now simultaneously. And that's the mind-boggling thing about the space of Kala. Everything is happening simultaneously. And a normal logic cannot cognize that. That's why seeking, devotion, surrender, prayerfulness needs to happen. So we start to have the cognitive shift until we realize what it means and what it is and the space that Swamiji is referring to. Saying I am in the present and saying you can change your past is actually the same thing. It is expressing the same truth in a different way. You cannot think that you're living in the present and feeling that your, your past is frozen and cannot be changed. If you feel your past is frozen and cannot be changed, you are not living in the present moment. You are living in the delusion that you think you are in the present moment. Only when we have the cognitive shift and we realize that the past is not frozen, the future is not, is, is not fully, the past is not fully finished, the future is not fully open, only then we enter into the space of now that happens simultaneously. And I know that's a lot, there's a lot of mind-boggling things which I'm sharing in this video. 
And, but I'm just inviting you to have seeking, surrender, prayerfulness, to have clicks and understanding and experiences about what it means. And, um, and I thought it was so powerful because people will feel, oh yeah, you know, I know what, what it means to be in the present. Um, no, it depends. I mean, do you, can you rewrite? Can you change your past? Do you understand the science of changing your past? If yes, then you are established in a space of Paramashivam. You are established in a space of superconsciousness. If the answer is no, you are not in that space of Paramashivam. And if you are not in that space of Paramashivam, you cannot be in the present. You will be lost in your delusion of what is past, what is present, what is future. And you'll be playing within your own creation and stuck within your own creation. But it will not be the reality. So we have to seek what is the reality. We have to ask to be in that devotion, surrender, prayerfulness, let that reality be shown to me. Let it be experienced. I want to experience that reality, which is me, which I am avoiding to remember. So that was a huge click for me. I wanted to share before 2020 uh, because 2020 is going to be a totally a new, uh, a new cycle. And that's going to be very uh, interesting, exciting, a lot of enthusiasm towards that. And um, so, yes, guys, so inviting you to contemplate to have seeking, devotion, surrender, prayerfulness towards what is the now? What is the real present moment? What it means that you can change your past? What does it mean that your future is not fully open? If you do not know how to change your past, you will reproduce your past in the future. And the click I got is that the belief that your past is frozen is a delusion. And as long as you invest in that delusion, automatically that is the delusion you will continue to reproduce for yourself in the future. So ultimately, there is no such thing of past and future. Everything is happening now simultaneously. And we need to cognize that and seek to have deeper, deeper understanding and experience of what does it mean to be in that space. And that is why manifesting powers help, because manifesting powers is an experience-oriented thing. When you have the experience, there is no more doubt. When you, have, when you experienced honey, you can, somebody cannot tell you honey is bitter. You're like, no, what are you talking? Honey is sweet. So that kind of clarity you get when you have experience. So when I refer to, say, having seeking, prayerfulness, devotion, what is clicking with me is that seek to have that experience, for that knowledge to be revealed to you as an experience. Have devotion towards Paramashiva, towards Swamiji, towards Guru, so that he reveals that experience to you, um, that prayerfulness, you know, that devotion. So that's what I want to share in this video, inviting you all to share your ideas, understandings, clicks or questions in the comments below. 2020 is coming soon, I'm going to have some nice releases on that day, as well as a declaration for 2020, so get your declaration ready. And let's have a conscious breakthrough. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching again and again. And I'll see you in the next video. Nityan.